life's way too short to not do what you love to do. As an artist, we only get to capture just a split second of this incredible experience. I, I think of uh, how many wonderful artists took a moment to just lay their soul on into their work and make it available for the centuries. But one day, um, it's all gonna be gone and we're only visiting this world for a short moment. Like uh, Shakespeare said in Macbeth, that life is but a walking shadow. What I, I want to capture someone's essence. Uh, with the shadow man, I don't want to just uh, literally draw somebody doing something, or in a, but I do want to capture their weight, their being, their presence in their spirit. Luther Essek is my mom's dad. He was probably my best friend growing up. I would go to his house almost every weekend. He worked in all mediums. I mean, he was a filmmaker, musician, uh, a painter. He did all, everything. And so he kind of modeled for me the artist possibilities. I just layer and layer and often just randomly grab colors of paint and just throw it on there. I directly mix my colors on the canvases. I, I have it all my art hanging up all the time to constantly be looking at the different pieces and seeing how it can evolve you know for me to be able to have people uh, put my work in their home and then you know months years later come up to me and tell me that it has become a very positive part of their life and it's something that they enjoy every day I mean it just that's that's there's nothing more satisfying than that I won't let it out of my studio until I absolutely love it. Each piece means a lot to me. I mean, obviously some more than others. I don't think there's ever been a time that I haven't had an idea ready to be painted. As a matter of fact, I've been concerned that I have too many ideas and that I'm gonna die and uh, they're gonna go with me. So I'm always constantly feeling like I'm on a race. I think we have a, a wonderful opportunity to, to have an outlet for those deep emotions that uh, that we have to struggle with. And I think that some of the best art has always come from adversity. There's gotta be enough in there.